Yo, what's going on guys here? This is XBuzzerMan and today I got for you how to make free custom thumbnails without having to download any kind of program. So you won't have to download any program, you won't have to pirate anything or just do any kind of things that require uh, you putting stuff onto your computer. So I'm, this is all going to be websites um, and it actually looks very professional so you'll really like how it looks. And before I start everything up, I'm going to hit that intro just like I always do. So see you back when I'm done with the intro. Alright, so time to get started with the video. So what we got for you is a table of contents basically. So all you have to do is click on any of those little boxes you'll probably see the annotations and it will lead you to, to that part of the video so the first thing we're going to do is types of images like jpeg png and everything like that and the ones you kind of want to choose out the second one is how to convert jpeg to png it's really simple third one is how to add effects and start up your um, template and the third one is downloading and everything else so let's get on to it um here we go Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the differences between certain images and why you want custom thumbnails. So we're going to show you this guy right here. His name is Direwolf20 and most of you know who he is. He's a pretty big YouTuber. He has 166,000 subscribers. But look, he doesn't post custom thumbnails at all. Look at all those. No custom thumbnails. Um, that, that can show a lot. Um, he posts a lot of videos and he's pretty consistent. Now what we're going to show you is Scotty does Minecraft. He's another big guy in the Minecraft community. He posts custom thumbnails. He has 1.6 million. That's 10 times more. That is a lot of subscribers. Um, I don't contribute at all to this, but I do contribute, you know, quite a bit to it because people are going to click on, uh, let's go over here, this video, more than going to click on that video. Uh, so that's the importance of custom thumbnails. Uh, you get more traffic to you. And now we're going to talk about the difference in images. Now we got JPEG and we got PNG. Those are the two ones you're going to want to use the most. So when you're Google searching your favorite image on Google, I'd recommend knowing which ones you're going to want. Now the difference between PNG and JPEG, we're going to start off with PNG because not as many people know what PNG is. It's a transparent background. We're going to just click on this little penguin over here. So everything you see like right here, you see your image and then you see this white background. When you upload this image onto your template, that white background will go away. And this over here, JPEG, you can probably already predict what happens. This white image right here will not go away. So it can be annoying yet it can be pretty useful so I, I personally tend to go with PNG because I like my backgrounds to not show this is called transparency by the way so I like to have transparent backgrounds so that's part one um, we're gonna about to go into part two now okay so now we're gonna go into how to convert your JPEG image into a PNG image so say you're scrolling down through Google search finding your favorite Call of Duty MW3 logo and you find your this beauty and you cannot deal without it and you're like I gotta put this on my custom intro um, thumbnail you go to save image as and oh it's a JPEG crap it's not gonna be transparent or do you think it is? Um, all you have to do, don't worry, is just hit save and go to this program called iPixler. So I'm going to put it right here and it's an online editor. So you're going to want that right here. And you're going to go to Pixlr Editor, open image from computer, find your image, open it, and there you have it right there. It's your awful JPEG, JPEG image that you want to create and turn into a PNG. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little feature. It's called a little wand. And what you can do is just click right here or anywhere you want to on the image. And it should select the whole thing. And what it does, it automatically traces the lines almost of your image. And it's really cool. It's a really nice feature. And up here you can turn uh, change the tolerance which is how precise it wants to be or how precise you want it to be so I can almost like 
just do this again I think and it will be a little bit more precise so um, actually I think this is less precise uh, what I did right there but uh, what we're gonna go into now that you have your image is you're gonna go to invert selection and now it just selects all the stuff you basically want uh, the inner image not the whole white stuff that you do not want next what you're gonna want to do is we're gonna click copy and that will copy it to your clipboard so after that you're gonna go to new image title whatever you want and what it'll do is you'll click these two click Im create image from clipboard and transparent it should look like this yeah that's pretty cool these little things and what this means is it's transparent in the background and you can go on anything you want so what we're going to do is we're next going to click out of your jpeg image because it will actually save the jpeg image and not the png one so you want to do not save to change it go to save and then your format should be png not jpeg uh, you can't just save it to a png if it's a jpeg it won't become transparent you have to do these steps i'm telling you and let's just say mw3 uh, i just totally screwed that up right there um but we're gonna save it and we're gonna test it out so we're gonna go into ipicky uh what is that <laughs> um and it seems like ipicky doesn't want to load um hopefully it will load real quickly yeah it's not wanting to load but this should be a pretty uh transparent image hopefully it's up here no, yeah, oh, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna go to upload photo just to prove to you that it is a custom image. We'll just, I guess we'll start a blend, um, create, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's taking a while, but uh, we're gonna look at our photos. Um, there's the JPEG image, and we'll show you that versus the real image, if we can get to it. All right, so we're gonna put on a little background right here and say that's our background we're gonna go to our photos we're gonna show you the JPEG image no that's not the JPEG image that is our PNG image look at transparent and we're gonna go to upload photos and we're gonna go to our JPEG image though this time our JPEG image looks like that and that's your nice transparent image so hope you enjoyed that now let's go on to the next part. Okay, so now we're going to be on how to create your template and start your custom thumbnail. Now that you got all your images and everything, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this site called iPicky. Uh, I'll put it in the description. I don't know if I said it right. Um, hopefully I did. And you want to click this big yellow button saying start editing. And it'll bring you to a screen. Uh, hopefully. For some reason, my internet is slow on this uh, particular website. Oh, here we go. It's going to start loading um, any minute now. Any minute now. And you'll say, it'll, I think it will say, like, you want to upload photos? Say yes. I have a big photo vault, as you can see through here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to this right here, and it's create new blend. That's the one you're going to want to go to. Set the adjustments to, you're going to have to scroll up and down or else it won't work. 1290 by 731 if I can get it and those are pretty much what your custom thumbnail take requires for it to be on the uh, the full screen um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you basically how to start one out so let's start with uh, I guess we're gonna press done um you're gonna press done at the start and you're gonna start off with your main uh, background so I guess we'll go with a a standard color if you would like um, we can do whatever we want but you have many options in here just you could check them all out they're all pretty cool I'm not gonna go in depth but you can change the initial uh, color through certain ways I don't really want to go into it and try to find it so I'm just gonna keep it white and you can choose from inserting text to photos to stickers to shapes uh, it does a lot of cool things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our sexy Call of Duty thing that we made and we can drag it using this and it should be pretty good uh, 
I don't know if this is, yeah, this is the transparent one. And what we can do is we can put this all the way up here. We can put another photo if we want. Um, let's go with, I guess, our main man right here. No, we'll get, we're going to go with MW3. Uh, let's look. Let's find our dude. There's one. There's a really cool dude right there. Um, let's see if it's PNG. No, it's a JPEG. Oh, man. So you can browse, upload photos however you want as long as they can work together. Um, everything should be all good to go. Um, as you can see, that those don't really match. So if it were me, I would go and make that transparent because it would look a lot better. So I guess we can put that in the right there or something. It could look a lot better, but I'm choosing to kind of give you a... Uh, a sort of a preview on how to do everything and what you can do is put this right here um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to insert your text so let's say X buzz so you're gonna go to your text feature um, right here to do and as you can see I created a few new layers right where these are layers um, you can't just mess with them and do everything like that so you're going to type in whatever you say so let's say X buzzer man's Call of Duty playthrough or call X buzzer man's uh, if I can see it um, MW3 beasting cuz I'm a yeah yeah cuz I'm a beast at um, MW3 just so you say and you can choose from so many different fonts it's so cool um, a lot of really cool ones I think the Transformers one would probably look pretty bad I guess so what we can do is we can choose the font and basically put it wherever we want I usually like putting my things at the bottom right here um, just because it looks a lot a little bit more professional uh, not having your your name just like blasting out right in front of there uh, We'll just kind of put that up over to the side. And so far you can kind of see a little gist of it, what it's going to turn out. I don't really like that little white, like I said. Um, we can insert more text or we can, uh, here, let's delete that layer before anything happens to it. We can insert another photo. Let's look through our photos. Um, nothing really I want to put um, in general. It looks pretty good though. You know, you can put, you can add a little bit more things here. We'll add another, uh, I guess thing. I guess something, something. Uh, what, what, what do you think we should add? Should we add that? Hmm. You know what we'll do? We'll invert this. So what you can do is, um, you can duplicate it, and it will come say like right there. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the corner, but we're going to flip horizontally. Uh, I know that doesn't look good, but uh, we can flip vertically and have the guy come upside down. We can flip horizontally. There's a lot of cool features with this. We can bring forward, and that will do a lot of things. So we're going to keep this guy upside down uh, just because he deserves it. I don't like him. Um, Actually, that's the coolest title ever, but to get back on topic, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to and click done, and there's all your images right there, and now you can start editing them in cool ways, and here's some really cool things. Uh, you're going to want to go to this little wand, and you can do a lot of cool things. There's a lot of um, very cool features you can choose. Some of these are, take a little bit longer time to... Uh, to render out so I'll show you this one this is actually a very cool one but it takes such a long time I'll just give you an example um, just the initial initiate initialization time takes a while uh, as you can see it's like it's barely going through I'm not going to show you that I'll, uh, you can look at all these uh, things on your own um, I guess I can do like that that looks pretty beast um, if I do that uh, I think I I think I'll actually do that that looks pretty beast so I'll just apply that you can do cyber vision that's pretty freaking awesome as well but uh, I'll keep it back on to the main thing and like I said uh, make sure those are PNG uh, I don't really like looking at them like that but uh, 
what we're going to do is now that you got your photo all edited, you can go to right over here. I think it's textures. Yeah, go to textures and you can texturize your your uh, video. So, as you can see, we can put like a little gist of that right there, or that right there. Just a lot of cool things like lights across the whole um, thumbnail itself. Um, there's a lot of cool features to this program that you'll really like. So that should wrap up about how to use the effects and start actually creating your template. So I'll be back and I'll probably have a different better looking template when I'm done. Okay, so now I got my last part of my custom thumbnail. I went back and made a few changes and did a little things to make this look a little bit more professional, I guess, looking or a little more appealing to the eye. Um, if you would like to know what I did, all I did was I added this texture. Um, let's see, I think it's in nature maybe. No, it's in materials. Uh, no, it's in lights. Uh, it's this. It's one of these. It's in miscellaneous. My bad. It's this little texture right here. Um, I added that to it and I clicked apply. Uh, what I also did was I added this effect to it. Um, where is it? HDR advanced. That's the thing I told you looks really good. Um, and then the last thing I did was I added a vignette border with a little bit of a, a green finish to it. So you'll learn how to do it a lot better. Uh, it gets a lot easier and it looks a lot better um, once you start looking at it. Just go check out some of mine. Now what you're going to do is you want to click save. Turn your quality 100%. Uh, JPEG I guess you can say if you'd like. Um, and save your photo. Press save. And you're good to go. Now you can upload your photo and your uh custom thumbnail all i wanted to say is thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed this uh i'm looking to create more free ways on how to do things and how to make your channel look a little bit more professional and get more views because uh i know a lot of people want to be like a partner without having to get the partnership contract and things like that so thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you next time in the next video uh later Okay, again, thanks a lot guys for watching my video and l maybe you learned a few things about how to create some free things without having to download any programs. Um, here I have a little bit of self-promotion here. Here on the bottom right hand corner are my two series. Um, go click on them and you'll get loaded to a playlist of um, really cool videos on my Let's Plays of Tech It and Normal Survival SMP. Here is a super awesome video. It's usually a desktop side chat. You'll really like it if you like any kind of Call of Duty. It's, uh, it's pretty fun to watch. So thanks again for watching and later hope you subscribe.